Welcome everybody to Kara Cup number two. Uh, we're going to be kicking this off with a match from round one. Now the format of this tournament was a little bit different from the last one. We had uh, four rounds in Swiss style, and then we moved on to a single elimination bracket. There were, uh, let me think now, there were six competitors, and so the top four would move into the bracket. So this is round one. I'm going to be playing against Catharsis. Um, Catharsis is a, you know, a Galician player that I've seen before. So I expected him to play Galzium, but he rolled as Con F, and my thought was basically, will Con F have the Blast Drone? I really don't like the Blast Drone, so I'm just going to be Con F as well and use it against my opponent too. Why not, right? So that was that was kind of my thinking as I uh, play as the Con F right here. Just going to be doing my typical Galzium things though, in fact, with mobility support. It makes it slightly better than um, when you do this as the Galzium. Going to be searching Sandstorm or Fabrication, moving out into the middle of the map immediately. My opponent, meanwhile, also has the Con F, of course. Uh, let's see, going first for full saturation of this main, playing as the Con F here, and I believe is going to be now taking this second Wreck Bulkhead right here. Uh, moving on in the middle with this base runner as well, but it's going to find um, that there are some prickly sand skimmers shooting at it. And an interesting thing to note about, like, you know, the Galzian base runner doesn't have the auto healing that Galzian units do, but it does have the healing ability. But the Con F base runner literally cannot heal itself, so interestingly, like, any damage that it takes is just permanent. Um, but some good scouting going to come out here. It's going to see, okay, look, a Blast Drone, I, I see that. I see, you know, the Sand Skimmer over here. And so Catharsis is going to be well aware of what is going on here. Probably not going to be caught off guard by, like, a Blast Drone rush or anything like that. So good scouting from this base runner. It's probably going to move it back now. I'd love to see the uh, smoke ability deployed just to reduce the amount of damage it's taking, because like I said, that is permanent damage. So you want to kind of, you know, use this ability to avoid any damage that you can on your blast uh, on your base runner. Your blast runner, it might as well be. Speaking of which, here comes a blast drone right now. And it is going to get two sand skimmers. That was a good blast drone. Always very frightening when you're playing as the Galzian player and suddenly you notice that little X on the screen. You're like, oh, freak, run away, you know. Very difficult to split your units for a blast drone like that. But there's two blast drones out on the field for me now, and nothing to stop them, it seems. Indeed, the carrier has, uh, actually, power reserve level 1 being researched here. So this is going to be holdable. I think Catharsis can definitely hold this off. The question is, are these two blast drones going to get into the back line? It looks like they are. And they detonate. Lots of soldiers go down right there. And I think another blast drone took out two of my sand scares. The stupid blast drones. But anyway... <laughs> It's all about blast drones right now. These sand skimmers do nothing. Um, you can see we both lost, you know, 700 CU's worth of stuff. Um, Catharsis, of course, had a lot of salvagers, so they're gonna pick up the slack here. They're gonna start salvaging where um, the ones who have been killed by the blast drones were, and so it looks pretty even actually right now. Uh, I mean, of course, I'm long hauling with like one salvager, but that doesn't really matter. This uh, kind of carrier, by the way, has a pretty weak uh, late game as opposed to like, you know, the Coalition of the Saban or something like that. But it has a very strong um, early game because since the range is not a subsystem of it, it has like a default range that's actually pretty high um, compared to most carriers. Or, yeah. Wh whereas, you know, normally with like the Galzian carrier, you need to put power into the range system. What that means is that the, uh, the Conf carrier can power up the weapons and already be shooting units that are like this far away, so. Interesting little tidbit there. Has pretty pretty powerful early game here. Uh, which means that I definitely cannot push in. That's not going to be my business. Let's see, three sand skimmers to the five here. Definitely going to get focused down. The blast drone wants to get involved too. No, it sees that there's nothing to do here, so it backs away. Actually, could get a pretty grody hit right here. Blast drone for blast drone, alright. And, you know, that's an even trade, I guess. <laughs> uh, this sand skimmer right here stayed a little bit too long. It's going to get killed off. There's now one sand skimmer left, and these four are going to hunt him down unless the carrier has something to say about it. Could really have used a missile like right there. Uh, the carrier does have something to say about it, and it's going to be another one for one trade. So, still looking pretty even as far as units lost are concerned right now, but as you can see, there's an assault ship moving in here. I missed the tech switch there, sorry about that. Assault ship tech is actually coming in for Catharsis as well, going to finish in about four seconds, but um, they are already here as you can see. And now this this kind of carrier is going to do damage to them, of course, but... Actually, I should really power up the mobility support, but that's alright. Um, it is going to do damage to these assault ships, but they 
they may be able to kill quite a few sal uh, salvagers before they're done here. And refinery mode is now coming in for catharsis. I don't even know what happened there. Sorry, I totally missed that. Um, but yeah, this is a soldier the size. He really does not want to be in that neighborhood. He's going to back away. Uh, soul ships being produced now by Catharsis as well, but they're going to be outnumbered, as you can see, quite significantly. But this seems to be pretty well deflected by Catharsis for now. And I'd say it's looking pretty even, but once Refinery Mode fi it just finished, Refinery Mode is now done for Catharsis. He now has the ability to mine from two bases, so the, really the ball is on me to get some economic damage done in here and then move back and get my uh, Refinery Mode set up as well, which as you can see, that's not even begun. In fact, I'm going to go for armored unit defenses. I really want to... I want to close this off right here. I want to do a lot of damage, as you can see, by getting that tech there. Um, now, Catharsis, meanwhile, is going for interceptor fabrication, which could be pretty spicy. This production cruiser, of course, is backing away, which actually seems a little silly because, as you can see, I'm not even getting refinery mode yet. Watch these cruise missiles. They can make a big difference in fights like this. Now, these salvagers forced off of the mining location. Production, uh, production cruiser refiner mode is coming down for uh, well, for me. Actually, more blast drones get some hits on these salvagers here. It's pretty grody. This assault ship is going to go down, probably. Although, actually, this dune is being pretty good cover for him. And this carrier now looking pretty spicy. Like I said in the early game, it has the, you know, the advantage of being able to have power reserve 1 and still have it in you know damage and range there. Or damage and weapons, because it has the range. And actually both sides making interceptors now, that's pretty interesting. Two already finished for Catharsis. And one being built for me. Ah, uh, the salvagers are beginning to go down here, so there's some good damage being done by these assault ships. The interceptors come out, and they hover in the air there, I guess. I think they want to do some damage to these assault ships. Yeah, you really want to do some damage to these assault ships, because these are, these are very weak. They could be killed right now. Where are they going instead? They're going after the base runner? I can't say I like that. It's kind of a low value target, isn't it? It's gonna hit the carrier, well. <laughs> you know, why not? Although now, like, they're low on ammo. Hold on, how did that happen? Did you see that? Like, two interceptors just fired at one, and this one lived, and that one got killed. I don't really know, but at any rate, uh, this interceptor is gonna be forced to retreat here. Catharsis is building another one, but um, I've got two now. So air superiority going to go very slightly to me. And some salvagers got killed over here, definitely was denied from that second base. This production cruiser should move back now, of course, but looks like economically I'm a little bit ahead as well. So my ploy kind of worked of trying to do, do some economic damage before I got refinery mode. Researching the afterburner tech, this is of course very important um, because it makes your interceptors like ridiculously speedy, which also means that you know you can react faster. They can really be used as like anti-air after you get this tech here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, no more blast drones left from the base runner, so unfortunately we aren't going to see any more of those. <laughs> But you can see this is kind of... Oh, that was almost a really good cruise missile. But you see this just kind of constant pressure up here against Catharsis. Can't ever catch his breath. He's always got to be responding to something. Interceptor's being launched here. Which I think is good if he goes after these assault ships. But you know, He seems to want to move out in the middle of the map, but you know I've got more than he does. And they're being launched right now. Three on two. Simple numbers game. Although, I mean, I guess it didn't work for him earlier, but... There goes one. Second interceptor here, still tasked to move over here for some reason, he's just gonna get sniped. And there go the interceptors. Very expensive units, but they're very, very fragile. Actually, he's gonna he's gonna call the GG right there. Probably he saw, you know, there's still assault ships on the field, still harassing me. I've lost my interceptors now, like what advantages do I have in this game? Just can't really find anything. Um So that is gonna be game one. Uh, not the most exciting match, but still fun to see some Conf versus Conf action. Lots of units getting killed when you never expect that they will. So, um, well played to Catharsis, and we'll move on to the next game in this first round.